Welcome to the team. Thank you. So I think it all starts with the product. If the product is good, then the corporate world will jump in. And once you have money, money answers all problems, don't it? So once we have enough money, to, we can be able to attract any kind of player we want. So I think that's where we're heading uh, as a union. And um, I think it will start bearing fruit like in the next few months. This is Chris Gray for Sables TV and I am with the newly unveiled Sables team manager Kisit Chiringende. How are you doing Kisit? I'm doing good, thank you. Good. So first question obviously that comes to mind, in a couple of your previous interviews you've mentioned that when it comes to sport it's not necessarily about the money. Coming into this new position, what attracted you to it? And I think it's the vision of the board. Um, coming in, bringing in a world class coach that I've known for a few years. Um, I think this is a winning team that I wanted to be part of. So I think that's the most thing that uh, that persuaded me the most to, to join the team. Just to take you back to the players, so how realistic is it that we'll see a large number of our foreign-based players coming back? Is that feasible? Does the rugby have the kind of money to do that at the moment? Well, I'll tell you what, the, the phone has been off the hook, uh, you know, from all parts of the country. Players that we didn't even know existed, quality players. Yeah. So I think um, from from the athlete standpoint, we are good. Like there's a lot of players putting their hand up. From the money point of view, I think you had the vice president talking about uh, a number of sponsors coming on board. And I'd like to believe that again with the guys that we have now already that have come. Most of these guys haven't played for the Sabres, so they'll elevate our our game. And by doing that, it elevates, obviously, it shows even on the park and on the scoreboard. And by that, it adds more, more sponsors like we, we talked about.